We're with Mark Packard. He's the vice president of the Buffalo Fire Historical Society, and this is a hidden gem. And there's yes. a lot to see here. Yes, sir. So is. right now, you are only open Saturdays and by appointment, but you're also looking for volunteers. So That's what kind correct. of wonderful volunteer opportunities are there here? We do a lot of things down here at the museum. We represent the Buffalo Fire Department as well as the volunteers. We also do fire prevention and the history of the fire department. We also do restoring of fire trucks and all kinds of exhibits down here that you can see. So we, we do need a lot of volunteers. There's a lot of work to be done down here. And uh, we have fun. I mean, we all get together and have a good time here in Saturday. So anybody who wants to come down, they're more than welcome to. We always need people for the office as well as the displays and doing outside projects. Uh, we're also involved with the fireman's building at the Erie County Fairground. We work with that. We also work and support uh, Edward M. Cotter, the fireboat. And we also work and support the Buffalo Bell Fire Club. And you have displays going back to the 1800s here. That's correct. That's correct. We have what you call from horse drawn all the way up to the horse drawn in 1880 when the Buffalo Fire Department became a paid service, all the way up to your modern equipment. So we have it all out here. We have the uniforms and all types of tools that they used to have. If somebody's looking through their stuff at home and they find something and they think, hey, that's perfect for that museum, what should they do? They could always call us or stop down on Saturday and drop it down. You know, we take all kinds of donations. So if they want to get rid of something, we're always open. What is your favorite find so far? Some of the past pictures that we had from the museum when it started. What's it like when you see kids come in and maybe they're super excited to see the trucks, but maybe also they want to be a firefighter in the future. Oh, we have a ball with them. They have a lot of fun down here. We even got a simulator that's set up over there where they can get in a cab and actually pretend that they're driving one of the rigs. It's just so precise. Everybody knows exactly where they have to go, what they have to do. Well, that's good. The cars are pulling over. So that's one of our big main attractions down here. Um, the other ones, the kids like to come down, pull the fire alarm box, which we have set up. Box 29 is coming in to the dispatch. When the alarm box is pulled, it comes in on the ticker tape machine and it reads it out just like you would at the firehouse. So they get a kick out of that. They also like to get a look at the equipment. And we have a lot of things for fire prevention for the kids in the other room to do. It's super interactive. If somebody wants to come check you guys out, what information do they need? Where should they go? Oh, they just come down here any Saturday. We're open 10 to 4. We're also in the phone book and on the website. If you want to check it out, we'll have all that information on our website, WGRZ.com. With your most Buffalo story of the day, I'm Kelly Dudzik. I'll see you tomorrow on Midday.